Um, are you fighting with dust in your home? Here's how to get rid of it. The most important part of dusting your home is using the proper tools. While many use a feather duster, the truth is they simply spread dust from one surface to another without actually removing it. Ideally, you want to use a damp soft cloth, a microfiber duster, or an electrostatic duster to efficiently remove as much dust as possible. A vacuum cleaner is also a great tool. Hi, I'm Lambrose Demos from Royal LePage, and here are six easy ways to get rid of dust all around your home. The quickest and most efficient way to rid your walls and baseboards of cobwebs and dust is to use your vacuum cleaner and all of its handy attachments. For best results, start from the ceiling and work your way down. When you get to the baseboards, grab your all-purpose cleaner, a soft cloth or a sponge mop, spray the cleaner along the baseboards in small sections, then wipe clean with a soft cloth. To make this task easier on your back and knees, try using a sponge mop instead of a cloth to wipe the baseboards. All those little knickknacks you have on your cabinets are cute, but they're a big pain to dust, along with the shelves they sit on. The easiest way to tackle these areas is to use a clean, natural bristled makeup or paintbrush to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Follow up any large areas with a microfiber cloth to capture and remove dust. Dusting electronics can be tricky, but it's important that you do it regularly to keep everything in good working order. Always unplug the item you intend to clean first, then wipe it clean with a microfiber cloth. For any dust left in the crevices, use a soft brush. Be sure to vacuum up any dust or pet hair that's collected around the power cords as it can quickly clog up your electronics and electrical outlets. Soft toys such as stuffed animals and throw pillows collect dust and grime and other odors easily, but you don't want to throw them in the washing machine. You can get a large garbage bag, pour in a cup of baking soda, and put all the stuffed toys and pillows into the bag. Take it outside, give it a good shake, that'll distribute the baking soda evenly and remove uh, the dirt and odors from the items. Then take each item outside the bag, shake off any excess baking soda and vacuum up the rest with a brush attachment. You don't see it, but the top of your ceiling fan collects a lot of yucky dust and grease. Turn the fan off and get a step stool so you can reach the top of the blades. Use a soft bristle brush to remove dust from the light fixtures and the casing. Then dampen a few paper towels and use them to remove as much of the dust from atop the blades as possible. After that, spray an all-purpose cleaner on each blade and wipe it clean using a damp paper towel. Whether your vents are on the ceiling or on the floor, using your vacuum cleaner at first is the best way to remove loose dust and cobwebs. The next step is to use a soft brush to remove dust and dirt from the grate. Then follow up with a microfiber cloth to clean the surface. I hope these six points help. For more cleaning tips, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.